I've always been pretty fat and have tried to lose weight before, you know, always managed to lose 20, 30 pounds and then gain it all back in a bunch of diets. And I guess about seven months ago, I thought I would try something different. So I started fasting and it's been uh, great so far. I lost uh, approximately 80 pounds. So what I do now is basically I try to fast for two to eight days in a row, basically on nothing but water and coffee and tea. And then I'll eat normally for about the same period of time and then I'll, then I'll fast again. I'll only eat when I have a really good reason to eat. If I'm in San Francisco, it's easy not to eat because everyone, everyone in San Francisco is weird about something. They kind of expect it. It's not a big deal. And actually one of the biggest surprises to me is how pleasant it is to be around food when I'm not eating. I thought it'd be hard, but it's not. It's really fun to sit at a dinner and pass food around and smell it and see it and not taste anything. The biggest uh, advantage for me of fasting are really the, the mental effects. I feel a real mental clarity, an increased focus, and almost like a, a low-level euphoria. It feels really good. The main lesson I learned was that hunger doesn't accumulate. I always thought that hunger builds up but that's not how it works at all. It really comes in waves. And uh, after a couple of days of fasting, there's really no, no sensation of hunger at all. The fasting routine works for me because I, I had so much body fat. It's not necessarily something that anyone could do. I mean, I think if you're already really skinny, then of course you shouldn't be fasting. This is definitely a trend uh, that, that's just starting to happen right now. Uh, you know, San Francisco goes through these uh, periods of fads where everyone is meditating, or everyone is being mindful, and the new one is everyone's fasting. Um, there's definitely a, a support group of CEOs and VCs and other people, so I'm connected with a bunch of folks. It's exactly what you'd expect from faddish San Francisco behavior. I fully expect to be doing this for the rest of my life in some modified form because it feels so good to do. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.